Chris and Camilla are pretty adventurous. Pretty easy to get along with. Strong, Strong girls. Definitely great. Hyperactive, overbooked. Enjoying life. It's a lot of fun. A sense of curiosity. They have to be sisters. <laughs> After a moment or two, I realize that they're crushers. Twins, same, same, but different. Really enthusiastic climber girls, like actual power women. Traveling once or twice just wasn't enough. Like many before us, we caught the travel bug a while back. But this time we decided to do it our own way. No following tourist trails, no commitments, just an outline of ideas. Most of all, a desire to follow our passions, dreams, and a need for an adventure. It was this that brought us on a climbing trip to southern India. This and some faraway connections from a century back. As climbers, we find that traveling by following our passion takes us to the right places and connects us to the right people. As couch surfers, we get to instantly meet locals, along with learning all there is to know about a place from first-hand knowledge. Not to mention the fact that Indian hosts are the most hospitable we've come across. After arriving in the bustle of Mumbai, we quickly moved on to Pune to seek out our first Indian climbing experience. In the heat of the late morning, we got to climb the black basalt cliffs next to the ruined Sinagad Fort, some 20 kilometers from the town. In the city, we stayed with Yakuta, our couch surfer host, who set out to help us with the complications of demonetization. So the government has taken a drastic step to reduce black money. So we're in Hyderabad right now, staying um, with our couch surfer host family. We've gone climbing with the son, Ritvik. Says to show um, photographs of our family history in Hyderabad that our grandfather took in 1937 and we're gonna see if the grandfather here recognizes any of the places or I don't know <laughs> has any good information for us because later on we'll be going into the town to find these places. Nana, will a grandfather was here mm. and some way you're related to us, yes. connected to us. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. So these are the photographs he took. In invited to give a presentation to a school. So actually we came to Hyderabad on a kind of heritage mission because our great grandparents used to live in India and our grandfather, he uh, was born in India. We connected with Rupik thanks to rock climbing. Oh, <laughs> and yes. and rock climbing. And, uh, his, and it turns out that his family has been very interested in our history and we showed them these photographs. From understanding of history, you understand your present. Yeah. And then you get a knowledge for the future. we headed down to Badami, a small town with an abundance of beautiful sandstone rock, so close yet far enough to forget the busy streets below. One of the main sport climbing destinations in southern India. We're in Badami, finally climbing on some amazing sandstone.
Leaving behind the lush red sandstone sport routes, we made our way to our most sought after destination, Hampi. Well known to rock climbers as the bouldering mecca in India's south, Climbing here wise, it's hard. It's really like crimpy and not a lot of power, but a lot of like being able to hold those crimps to make your next move. And it's aggressive rock. Like the rock is super sharp, but I love it. And the moves are cool and there's some awesome high balls and you can just wander around and you look for chalk. Or you can just go find your own route if you really want to. Campy's a beautiful place. I say that everyone has to come check it out. Climbers, where are you? So we've just decided to create our own boulder problems and uh, just see what we find because there's boulders everywhere, so much potential. And yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Come on. Climbing specifically of Hampi, well, it's been hard, it's been good, it's been interesting, um, it's overwhelming perhaps at points, okay. there's so much, it's vast, but it's been really fun as well. Extreme, perhaps, is another word I'd use. Extremely diverse. From there we continued to the most southern point we were to reach, Kodai Canal. Traveling in India and rediscovering our family history. Okay, okay. And okay. this is the last place I see. we were going to, and it's yeah. where our grandfather was born. Okay, okay. So, uh, we really wanted to see. Staying on a hillside farm, far from the center, we were treated to the never ending valley views of the Western Ghats. No southern India circuits would be complete without a trip to the white sand beaches of Goa, where we spent our seventh and last week of our Indian adventure. 